Hello and welcome. I'm Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll see how to listen to uploaded voice messages in Avaya Proactive Contact. Many a times we might need to listen to the voice messages that are configured on the system. The system administrator menu gives an option to listen to the voice messages. So basically the system will call you on a phone number that you provide and will play the voice messages of your choice. The voice messages are stored on the LPVC card of the digital switch or the PG230. It's better to use this feature during the non-operational hours that is when the system is not dialing because it uses the first outbound trunk to make the outbound call and if that trunk already has a call going on it that may get disconnected. This video is applicable to only the hard dialer version of the proactive contact that is where we have the digital switch or the PG230. In a soft dialer version of the proactive contact, the messages are stored on the communication manager. For this demo, I have four windows open. On the first one, I have logged into the system administrator menu using a SysADM type of account. And I have two more SSH sessions open. And I also have an IP soft phone logged in, which will act as the outbound phone, which the system will dial in our demo. Now in the system administrator menu, you will see this option for voice messages. Number eight, we'll choose that. It gives three options here, listen to messages, show the audio message files and show all configured messages. Let's choose option three first and it will list the audio files that you have uploaded to the system. On the other SSH session, I'm in the Optavia PDS switch voice folder. And if I do a LS here, I'll see the same audio files here. So on the proactive contact, this is the location where it will store the audio files. Now let's go back and choose option four. That is show all configured messages. This will list the audio files that have been uploaded to the LPVC card of the digital switch. You can see the slot numbers that show on which slot are the messages stored on the LPVC card. This information is actually coming from a file called voicemsg.cfg on the proactive contact. So on the other SSH session, let's go there. I'll do a more on voicemsg.cfg and you'll see the same content here also. So in the option three, we saw which audio files are available on the proactive contact and out of them, how many have been configured and uploaded to the LPVC card is what this page is displaying. This is similar to what you see on the editor application under the messages and script section. There also you can see the same messages and the slot number, etc. Now let's choose the option two to listen to the messages. It will tell you that it will play the selected voice messages to a phone and that will help you to verify the recording quality, etc. It also warns that it will use the first outbound trunk to make the outbound call. And if a call is on, on that line, it will get terminated. So better to use this during non-operational hours or be sure that the first outbound line does not have a call on it at that time. So we select the option two here to select a phone number. It asks for a phone number. I provide the number of my IP soft phone. That is 21010. You can provide your desk number, including the area code or even your mobile number here. Then it asks if it is an ISDN line. So let me check my dgswitch.cfg file. The ones here in the ISDN protocol field indicate that this is an ISDN line. Typically, if it's a PRI card, it's an ISDN line or if it's a CAS card, it's non ISDN. So I'll say yes here. Then we will select the messages to play. Here you have to provide the message number or the slot number of the message. I'll choose message number 28, for example, that is message name P cars. It will ask for an approximate duration. I'll say 10 seconds. It will ask if I want to play any more messages. I'll say yes here. Let me select message number 14 this time. It will again ask for duration. I'll say 10 seconds again. It will ask if I want to add any more messages. I'll say no. So I'll play only two messages here and it will come back to the menu. Now I'll select the option four to play the messages. It will ask if I'm ready to dial the number. I select one to confirm and it will dial the number 21010. And you can see the call coming onto my IP soft phone. I'll pick the call and it will start playing the messages. Hello, value customer. 
And it will play the message number 28 and after that it will play the message number 14. Now we have provided the duration as 10 seconds. So if a message is of let's say 15 seconds, it will cut off the message after 10 seconds and you would not be able to hear the complete message. And similarly if the message is of less than 10 seconds, it will play the complete message and will play silence in rest of the remaining seconds. So it's important to provide the approximate duration correctly if you want to hear the complete message. Once the message is over, it will automatically disconnect the call and come back to the menu. So this is how you can listen to the configured voice messages on Avaya Proactive Contact. That concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor at avaya.com or at Avaya Mentor on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.